All right, we back. Episode two, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna even hesitate. We ain't gonna hit him with the hezzy. None of that, you feel me? So, again, shout out to Dago Peso, you know what I mean? Sponsorship type shit. Go check out Dago Peso. D-A-Y-G-O-P-E-S-O. Check him out, you know what I mean? On YouTube, you know what I mean? So, back to the story, man. Part two. So, how I got good at hitting. So, come to practice. And at this time, like, I had made some tackles. I think we had had a few games or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, again, I had played the season before. You know what I mean? So, I didn't make tackles. I didn't, you know, I was I was nice. You know what I mean? I was decent. So, I remember going up, my nigga, going up against my nigga Cheese. Now, Cheese is a nigga that had been playing for years. He's basically like a veteran on our team. You know what I mean? He had played for you. He's big as hell. He run niggas over. He hit niggas. He catching everything. He just, one of, he was one of them niggas in Pop Warner. You feel me? Niggas was scared of him. So, I remember uh, my coach had called me over, we were doing hitting drills and shit. And I think this one we had like little sections, so it was at the time, I want to say it was probably like DB, like a little DB section, you know what I mean? So the coach was like, yo, Kenyatta, you know what I'm saying? Yo, come run the ball, you want this call, or uh, we call it, what the coach call it? Probably, I don't know if he even called it Omaha or Ohio. I think we called it Ohio at the time. So it's basically Ohio is where, from people that don't know, Ohio is when you lay down, like two people are laying down, you know, heads like facing each other. One has the ball and the, the whole drill is the, just like reaction, you know what I mean? So you gotta get up, blow the whistle, get up. You're gonna run full speed, probably about 10, 15 yards and y'all gonna meet in the middle, you know what I mean? Who wins, who wins? I was always taught, you know what I mean? The lower you go, the, the lowest nigga and the fastest nigga, the one that ain't scared gonna win, you feel me? So, you know, I got bullied a few times, you know what I mean? I made some tackles here and there, but I was always like side tackling, like I was scared of contact, you know what I mean? Not too scared but i was kind of scared but it was crazy because like i, I think i was more scared of content uh, content i was more scared of contact at practice than i was in the game you know what i'm saying because like that contact monster practice is just different then I'm, I'm playing with a team where like we i'm pretty sure we were the best hitters like we were the best defensive team in our little pop warner league so we hit the hardest we made the most hits you know what i'm saying like we just we were dogs bro like my coach like he just he said i don't give a fuck I remember this shit. He used to say this shit before every game practice. I don't, I don't give a damn. We win, lose, or draw. They gonna remember y'all. They gonna remember y'all. They gonna remember us. They not gonna wanna play us. And that was true. Nobody wanted to play us because they already knew, like defensive wise. You know what I mean, bro? We coming for your neck. We coming for your juggler. Like we hitting everything. You better catch the ball if you want to. That's when that first started for me as a as a defensive player. Like yo, I want you to catch the ball because I'm gonna I'm make you drop it. I'm gonna make you drop it because I'm coming straight for your chest. I'm I'm coming I'm coming straight for your chest. I'm gonna, you're gonna drop the ball. It's gonna hurt. And if you don't drop the first three on, by the time the halftime came, bro, they won't. They don't even want to catch the ball no more, coach. You know what I'm saying? They scared. The niggas don't want to run the ball no more. You hurting? You feel me? So anyway, I'm doing the Ohio with Cheese. Cheese running the ball. Coach Butler with some foot. I get up. I run. It looked like I was going to make the hit. When I say this nigga cheese, that was the first time I really had got ran over. Like, just ran through me. Like, just triangle, hit stick up, whatever the controls is, whatever matter controls you know. Trucking. He ran th straight through my Bah! Said, that shit sounded so bad, bro. I'm just laying on the floor. I'm laying on the floor like, oh, shit. Like, that was the first time I got ran over, and it actually kind of stung a little bit. So, coach came up, looked me over. He looked over pick me I think he might have grabbed my damn face mask and like grabbed my chest and stood me up like nigga you alright stand up nigga you feel me and again like I was telling y'all like first love type shit like that was as a as a man you know what I mean it was just that toughness shit cause you know football is definitely a brutal sport football can definitely hurt at different times you know what I mean but like that was when it's like I was really getting my feel for like you know what I mean being tougher as a dude you know what I mean being tougher as a man and you know coach explaining these lessons and shit like that so yeah so Shook it all, coach. Like, yo, you gonna go again? I'm like, nigga, go again. Like, nigga, you you see what he just did? The whole, the whole team was like, oh, you know how that shit go. Ah, I'm like, man, whatever. I'm like, go again. I'm like, all right, bro, fuck it. I'll go again. I don't even think I had a choice with this nigga. He for real, for real. He's gonna make me go again regardless. Anyway, you feel me? So he did put me to the side, of, to the side though. And he, this this one thing forever changed my ability in football. He was like, yo. Stop trying to hit everybody high. Meaning, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm the taller. I was one of, one of the taller dudes. I've always been one of the tallest. I've never been, like, the shortest. Either, I, either I'm, like, in the middle or I'm on the taller side. You know, I'm 6'1", so that's pretty average, I guess. 
So anyway, he went to the side. He like, stop trying to hit everybody high. He said, you're hitting too high. And that came, I think that I developed that habit from, you know, playing uh, street football. You know, playing in the grass and shit. Backyard football type shit. Just, it was just a habit. Like, trying to hit everybody high and just take them down. He like, it don't work like that. You know what I mean? Because it's just different when you're on that open field shit and the nigga is running 25 yards. You know what I mean? Versus in the backyard, he might be running 10 to 5 yards here or there. But you, nigga, nigga running at you 30 yards, you don't got time to try to wrap him up. And, you know, he's, huh, watch football. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, he was like, yo, hit his legs. And Cheese was big as shit. So, it, it wasn't no wrapping him up no matter what. He was like, hit his legs. I don't even, I didn't even wrap up, matter of fact. I didn't even wrap up. So I get down, I'm like, all right, all I'm hearing in my coach in my head is like, yo, hit his leg. Come on, he, everybody yelling, like, all right, let's go. Ah, do, 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 what do you So, coach was like, yeah, get him, da, 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 da. So, blow the whistle. Get up. When I say I ran so hard, and I hit his leg. But it was a good hit. And it was kind of like one of those whole team looked like, oh, shit, like, that was a good hit. So that was when I kind of got my first little, you know what I mean, little rank or whatever. So then after that, I think by then, I might close coach probably put me at, like, linebacker first, start playing linebacker. Then I had kind of, like, moved up to safety that year. And then, like, the next year, I definitely played safety the whole time. So we used to have this nigga on our team named Brandon. Now, Brandon was the number one nigga on our team. Like, he actually had it on his jersey. He's number one. He was our running back. And he was our goddamn, what Brandon play? I want to say cornerback. Yeah, he always guarded our be the best receiver. So, Brandon was just, again, one of them niggas that was just one of the best niggas. Like, he was definitely our best hitter, point blank period. But I always noticed that niggas would be scared to start hitting drills. And, and my team, like, when I, what I noticed about playing on other teams, other teams never hit like how my Pop Warner team did. You feel me? Like, we hit every day. When I got, like, the, uh, like, playing AU football and, Got to, like, Virginia playing in high school. Like, niggas ain't hit every day. I couldn't believe it. The we used to hit every day, so I was used to hitting. By then, the, how I got used to hitting was Brandon would always go first, and he would always run the ball first. Every practice, Brandon would either run the ball, yeah, either run the ball or he would make the, you know what I mean, he would do the first tackle. So, anyway, I just got tired of everybody, like, kind of, you know how niggas, everybody be hyped. Let me tell you something about football practice if y'all don't know. Everybody be hype talking all this shit like, oh man, we get past, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Woo -woo. Man, nobody doing none of that shit. Niggas be scared of this shit. Soon pad they come, oh niggas fucking scared. Everybody going there, like it's like a line. The line keep moving back. I don't even know how to explain it, but like the line keep moving back because everybody's trying to stay in the back. Nobody wants to go first. Nobody wants to get exposed. Niggas, ironically to me, niggas don't want to get better. Nigga, that's what practice is for. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, I decided. That fuck it, Brandon always gonna go first. I'm gonna always go first, and that's how I began to gain my rank on the team, and how I became captain, and how you know what I mean. I started to kind of have my little rank when it came to defense, and that's where I first started really falling in love with football, like on a different level, because I started getting a lot fucking better. But it wasn't because I was the tallest. It wasn't because I was one of the fastest. It wasn't because I was just smart. It was because I took something that. I ain't gonna say I wasn't scared at certain points. Like, damn, I'm tired of going against this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Getting ran over, getting hit hard as a bitch. But then it was like, at a certain point, my nigga, you take your fucking fears and you just go for them. You run into them in a more intelligent way because some people attack their fears in like the most dumbest way. And I'm one of them. I, some of my fears, like I just go about trying to, uh, you know, take over or take control of my fears in just some of the most retarded ways. Like we all have our moments, but. My point is that had point had, that that had decision had forever changed my life because I had figured out as a young boy, like as a young nigga, that if you attack your fears, man, you can be so much better at whatever the fuck you want to do. And I mean attacking your fears every day, as I did when we would go to practice. I think we practiced damn near every day of the week, except for like maybe one day or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you feel me? That's episode two. I'll give you a little bit more insight on the number 64, number 4, to linebacker, to safety, to becoming one of the best hitters in our little Pop Warner League. You feel me? My end of my Pop Warner career, man, we ended up making the newspaper. It was like me, I forgot one boy name, 
and Deshaun, uh, Deshaun. I always forget Deshaun last name. That's my nigga, though. My niggas from Delaware know who Deshaun is. You know what I mean? Tall, light-skinned bull. I want to say, I know him and Jordan are cousins. So I don't want to say Deshaun Carter. I want to say, <laughs> I can't remember, bro. But, yeah, man. So, we ended up making the playoffs like my last year of playing, bro. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. After we made the paper, like, everybody was like, oh, man, y'all in the newspaper. I was playing Pop Warner, you feel me? In the newspaper already. And... We just got cheated, bro. One thing I hated about that Pop Warner League is that they had this one team, and we always heard these rumors about these niggas having, like, uh, paying the fucking refs and just some cheating ass shit, bro. Like, that time, like, they was just cheating, bro. Like, I guess at the time, it was legal for them in the game to, like, lock arms. Like, for the linemen, the offensive linemen to lock arms, and the running back would literally just run up behind them. And, you know, coach would yell at us, like, yo, Y'all can stop that shit. Nah, nah, you just got to bust niggas' legs. You know what I mean? Take niggas' legs out. Like, we would try, but it was like, it was like nothing we could fucking do, bro. It was nothing we could fucking do. And if I'm not mistaken, that was like the game before the championship. We lost to them motherfuckers. The game, the damn Packers, bro. The fucking Packers. We had one undefeated that year, too, if I'm not mistaken. I think we might have had only lost to the Redskins. I think. I think that was the one game we fucking lost, the Redskins, bro. But, yeah, man. That was it, for real, after that, like, after that, I had one to fucking, I had got too big, you know what I mean, so I couldn't play with Pop Warner no more, you know what I mean, I had gained too much weight, not too much, but you know, I was getting bigger and shit, so I ended up playing AAU football, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this shit, cause it's starting to rain, this Florida shit is weird, as a bitch, it rains every day, you hear me, so, that's part two. Part three, I guess I'm going to go into, like, AAU football. That story is short. And we'll talk about why in the next video. I'll talk to y'all. King Casey TV. Again, drop your comments. Drop your favorite team. Drop your football stories. You want to get on that Madden shit. You know what I mean? Hit me, Dago Peso, that dude, King Ramsey, or Witness Greatness. You know what I mean? Go check the post out. Post on my Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, Instagram Facebook. My PSN is XX, King Casey and XX, so... Man, holla at somebody, man, if you want to play that, get that madness shit going. I'm about to get up out of this rain, though, you heard me? <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> Kick case and TV, man. Love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Ski!